Beautiful uh, summer day here in Gray County. We're going to be foraging today for burdock. It's uh, the thing most people know that gets stuck in your hair when you're out on a hike or in your dog's fur. Uh, it's not only a hitchhiker that way, it's a delicious wild edible. It's super easy to identify, so it's a great beginner wild edible. All you need is a shovel. My name is Sean Adler. I'm the chef and owner of Pow Wow Cafe in Kensington Market in Toronto, as well as the Flying Chestnut Kitchen in Gray County in Eugenia. Burdock. It's a, a long taproot, similar to a carrot, but it's got a nice sort of nutty flavor. It's a delicious root. It's not unlike a Jerusalem artichoke or a potato. Burdock root is a popular item on Japanese menus. Uh, izakayas often fry it and uh, toss it with like soy and sesame and all kinds of delicious sauces. This is a good example of second year growth. These are the burrs that everybody knows about. And what happens is the stalk, the, the taproot, gets extremely woody and inedible, basically. You can use it for medicine at that point, but it's really difficult to work with. We're gonna be harvesting the first year of growth, which is really great, uh, people find, especially in their yards, if you harvest it in the first year, you won't get that second year crop of burdock growing with, with all the burrs. So this is a first year growth burdock uh, plant. What we're after is the root, but in order to identify it, you can see the underside is just ever so faintly fuzzy and the top is way bigger than my hand. It's got this uh, heart shaped butt on it and a scalloped edge. There's not much that really looks like burdock root. One of the things that distinguish it are that the, the stem is hollow and it's kind of ridged all the way around. Rhubarb has a big U channel. So you can see it all grows from one central stem with one tap root. Give a little tobacco for our little guy. You'll need a really sharp shovel with a deep spade. This taproot can extend uh, over a foot deep into the ground and often it grows in like really rocky and disturbed soil. So it's summer, you're gonna sweat, you're gonna have a great time. It's gonna be great. So uh, when you're digging burdock, you can see I'm at least a foot deep uh, in this uh, very rocky soil full of roots. Come out early so you don't sweat too much when you're digging. As you can see, there we go. That's a really good burdock root. We probably dug for 10 minutes there. You can hear, it's nice. It's not extremely woody. It bends like a carrot. That's a burdock root. Here's how you make fried burdock. The first step is to clean it really well in cold water. Next, slice your burdock root on a bias in about quarter inch thick slices. Next, we're gonna shallow fry our burdock in about an inch of oil at 350 degrees. Fry your burdock for about three minutes until golden brown. Season your burdock with salt, pepper, and a little parsley, and enjoy with your favorite dip. Like a lot of wild edibles, the burdock root and the burdock plant is often considered a weed. It may be a weed, but it's a delicious weed and it's one that you can get outside really easily, get you digging, get you sweating, doing some gardening, and uh, you get the reward of a delicious vegetable at the end of the day. I hate birds. 